I'm here with Hal Haley, who's been affiliated with Nekong Auto Restorations for over 40 years. He actually owned the business for 15, and he now serves as the shop manager, master painter, and mechanic. And Hal's going to take us through the exterior of the Camaro and inform us a little bit more about what they did to the car. I'd like to point out some alterations that we made on this Camaro. Uh, 2010 Camaros have single lights in the front. Through team effort, we took dual ha halo headlights and actually welded them together with a plastic welder and made four headlights in the front. We had to lower the rad support down to make everything fit for the supercharger. The car really flies. It has uh, hit speeds of in excess of 150 miles an hour. The engine compartment is finished in duplicolor paint, so it looks um, really sharp. We decided to in integrate the hood into the bumper cover and extend it outwards. And as you can see, it fits beautifully. It was a lot of work. And the idea behind it was so that we could inject more air through this channeling right here into the K&N air filter, which developed a little bit more horsepower. Necon Auto Restorations decided to go with MTI racing components on this Camaro. Um, Bilstein shocks, Brembo calipers, which are finished in the same color as a lot of the trim on the car. We, uh, we put some ground effects on the car, which didn't come on this particular model. We decided to make the quarter panels kind of like the Z06 uh, Corvettes, whereas we cut it out, it used to be flush here, and we brought it in and did a lot of fabrication, a lot of welding. On the quarter panels, we made a lot of modifications in the, um, the wing, which integrates into the deck lid in the back and we had to uh, do a lot of metal work, a lot of fabricating to get the lines and the gaps all working properly. Inside there was a lot of uh, custom work done, stereos. This was all uh, fabricated so that the deck lid would properly seal so the water wouldn't leak inside. But the real thing about the back of this car that is cool is Camaros have four taillights. We made six taillights in the back through the use of a plastic uh, welding kit, which is totally different than any other Camaro. What we did was we came up with checkers and we laid them out and it took hours and hours and days to lay them out. And we did a lot of fading with blue duplicolor paints, a lot of striping around the corners, highlighted the whole car, and it's got five coats of clear on it. 